Hey everyone, I'm doing a live video today instead of the usual recorded video because I want to show you guys uh, how recording is like with Tiffany around. So usually I would record um, when she's napping but she's not napping right now so I have to record with her in the room. So this video is basically to give you a look behind the chaotic scenes of how recording is like. By the way, if you guys have any questions or if the audio is uh, not sounding right, let me know in the comment section. Um, yeah, so hello Muffin Source. Let me know if the audio is alright because I'm using a different mic that's connected to my handphone. I'm not sure uh, how good the quality is. So let me see. Uh, let me just show you the room first. Um, so those are her toys um, and usually Tiffany would just run around the room and not play with her toys and most of the time most of the time she's actually disturbing me while I'm recording so now she is very quiet I'm not sure why maybe because she doesn't know what I'm doing okay so this is my table table and I have a lot of stuff many of the stuff there as you can see are Tiffany's stuff so she would usually throw things onto the table um, but I'm not using this table to draw I'm using the other table to draw say hello Tiffany say hello say hello hello say hello say hello to yourself <laughs> you want to eat some biscuits you want to eat some biscuits no? No biscuits today? No? Cannot disturb Daddy. Eh? Daddy is going to record video. Don't disturb Daddy. So let me use some food to pacify her first. Okay, so today I'm going to draw something that starts with the letter O. Uh, let me prepare some of the tools that I'll be using first. And also I want to see if I can actually switch the camera from the front to the back. Hmm, doesn't seem like I can. Oh, I think I can. Oh, this is great. So I'm streaming from YouTube right now. I'm using my iPhone. Uh, I need to take some stuff. Yeah, I need to prepare this. This is for the water. Tiffany is two years old, by the way. So she is now very hyper. She's at an age where she likes to run around. Um, this part here is where I retrieve the water from my dehumidifier. Let me just show you what's in this uh, area here. So I have all my watercolor paint tubes and that's the dehumidifier which is keeping everything in the cupboard dry. So these are all the supplies that are in my plastic shelf. So that small little dehumidifier is supposed to keep everything inside here dry. There's actually some sketchbooks on the left, so I have to keep those dry. So let me show you uh, what I do with this. So I have some water inside. Usually I would go to the tap, but if the water is filled up here I would actually use the water from the dehumidifier I mean why not okay for those who have just joined in please let me know if the audio is okay if the audio quality is okay if there's any audio dropout um, the comments are actually moving quite fast so I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, answer most of the questions and also I'm looking at the questions from the phone so oops got to keep the tray back into the dehumidifier okay all right let me close that and put these two on the table so that's the table the small table that I'm using. This is actually a foldable IKEA table and that's the tripod where I'm going to set my camera on 
later um, and I will be using art graph graphite and the black carbon and the white uh, gouache today because I want to keep this video as simple as possible because things can I mean the situation can change rapidly with Tiffany around because I mean kids you know <laughs> that's my portable chair so sometimes I would sit on this chair but if this chair is occupied uh, forcefully occupied by her I may have to use the walk stool so I think I may be able to draw from my chair today Tiffany say hello no you don't want to say hello how are you Tiffany mm. don't know okay so hello everyone to all who have joined so today I'm going to have the AZ sketchbook series uh, live let me put this phone on my tripod gently okay and today I will be drawing something that starts with the letter O and I'm thinking of drawing an office so that's the photograph of an office an office that I took many years ago that's actually not my office it's one of the random uh, it's actually a, an office from Kinokuniya so many years ago Kinokuniya invited the Urban Sketchers uh, Singapore to their bookstore at Orchard Road to sketch so they also invited us back uh, to the back of their office where their employees are working to basically take a look and see what's inside and they have a lot of uh, books, um, shelves and files basically their office is packed with a lot of things so a lot of details so I'm going to be drawing that today in this small sketchbook and Tiffany is here with me today she is spinning the chair the temperature here is about 31, 32, 33 degrees because now it's in the afternoon it's very warm but I have the air conditioning air conditioning turned on so oops I shouldn't cover the camera Tiffany Tiffany say yeah, hello no no hello all right so maybe I should just use the walk stool since she is using that chair so let me continue and uh, continue to show you the tools that I'll be using so I have the water tray um, one is for cleaning the brush the other is for getting clean water and I'll be using the art graph uh, solid blocks for coloring I have the white gel pen for details and this is my usual fountain pen the pelican m200 that's filled with sketch ink so one of the good things about recording live from YouTube is um, if things go wrong, they go wrong. I won't be able to edit anything. So let me show you some of the pages that I have drawn over the last two weeks, starting from letter A. I will do a more detailed flip through and talk about the series and the art and my experience with uh, this whole series when it's concluded and here in Singapore the latest news is the quarantine has been extended or would be extended uh, depending on the circumstances to 1st of June so it's going it's very likely going to be extended for another four weeks let's see how it goes um, but if it does extend for another four weeks maybe I would have to start a new video series so this was the one that was drawn yesterday for New York City um, this I really enjoyed drawing this because it's very uh, therapeutic to draw all the blocks uh, draw all the geometric shapes and see the sketch come to life okay so I'll draw an office today this sketchbook that I'm using this is um, the Covell Sketchbook Pro made with 100% cotton watercolor paper 
The paper is Fabriano Artistico, if I remember correctly. Okay, so uh, with Tiffany um, taking the seat. Tiffany, do you want to sit on my lap? I don't think she wants to sit on my lap. Do you want to sit on the chair? Do you want to sit on the chair, Tiffany? Tiffany, do you want to sit on the chair? You want to sit on the chair? Or do you want to play with your toys? Your toys are over there. Your toys are over there, Tiffany. Go, go, go over. Go over to the other side. And that is going to sit here. Okay. Okay. She is starting to protest. So I cannot take the computer chair from her. I will use my walk stool instead. This is actually quite convenient. So I can extend this all the way out. And this is quite durable. Um, the rubber feet, um, they have a good chance of disintegrating in humid weather. Here I have to replace this almost two to three times already because humidity uh, is not good for rubber. And these are brand new uh, rubber that I bought from the walk stool website. So I can put my chair here to, yeah, so I can put my chair there so that I can sit on it. And Tiffany will get the computer chair. So the situation can change very rapidly. She is quite calm and quite quiet right now. So any sound that you hear, um, any random sounds that you hear like things dropping on the floor, that's all her. Okay, so I'm actually drawing with the help of a reference photo. Most of the uh, sketches that I've drawn so far are all drawn, I mean, were all drawn with the help of a reference photo. So great. Uh, I can now finally sit down and draw. And she is, Hi. Tiffany is just beside me. I hope she doesn't disturb me. Let me just put the camera down further a bit and record this. Oops. Okay, so now I can actually see my sketchbook and also the screen. So if you guys have any questions or comments, you can just uh, post on the comment box. And if the camera is shaking, it's because she is pushing the tripod. Okay, so let me just sketch very quickly this, uh, this office. So if you are new to this uh, series, um, this series is called AZ Ways to Fill a Sketchbook. The idea is basically to get um, get ideas from the 26 letters from the alphabet to draw. So today uh, I'll be drawing something that starts with O and I'm thinking of drawing the office. So sometimes I don't really follow the reference photo exactly. So for example, right now I am uh, drawing this office chair with a side armrest but in actual fact the office chair does not have a side armrest so um, the tripod may shake may shake <laughs> because Tiffany is on the left side she is um, trying to disturb me yeah, so four pairs of hands. Sometimes you are going to, uh, I mean, you're going to, you may see four pairs of hands in this video because the extra pair of hands is from my daughter Tiffany. So this office is um, the Kino Kunia office. This is actually a photo that I took many years ago. Um, I haven't been to the office, I mean to my office for two weeks because um, 
the non-essential workers have been told to work from home by the government. So I have to work from home since uh, two weeks ago. Wow, this office is a bit uh, complicated and there are a lot of boxes here by the side of the window. I just realized that I am not able to look at my sketch and look at the phone at the same time. Oh, or maybe I can. Maybe I should just draw the sketch by looking through my phone. That way, uh, if you guys have any questions, at least I can sort of see your questions. Okay, let me just draw some boxes. So sometimes when I use reference photos, um, the sketchbook that I'm using is Covell sketchbook made in Italy by this Italian company. So sometimes when I'm drawing with the help of reference photos, I don't draw exactly what I see. I would use some artist impression, uh, artist, what's that? Artistic license to add things or to uh, remove things. Uh, sometimes that's because I run out of space and sometimes it's because I drew something wrongly and or I got the composition wrong so I have to actually uh, change things up. So, do you guys work in an office? Or are you now, uh, or you are working in an office, but now you have to work from home because of the quarantine situation? So someone was asking me about this fountain pen that I'm using. This is the Pelican M two hundred fountain pen that I have been using for many years. Um, hello, Adam Ski eighty five. I like this fountain pen because. It can hold a lot of ink, so I don't have to refill it that much. Okay, so Tiffany is cooperating very well. She is now seated on the floor and uh, playing her toys, which is great. So now I can uh, draw my things. Wow, this office really has a lot of boxes. What's a good waterproof black ink that safe for fountain pen use? Um, you can consider using the Atramentus document ink, the Atramentus archive. The, the ink that I'm using here, this is sketch ink. Uh, there is also Sailor Kiwaguro. I actually have a list of all the inks that are safe for use in fountain pens on my website. So there is Platinum Carbon, Sailor Kiwaguro, Nudilus Bulletproof, which takes a really long time to dry. So nowadays I just recommend Sketch Ink or Platinum Carbon. And the thing with uh, such inks is um, if you do not use these inks, these are actually pigmented inks. If you do not use them for long periods of time, do wash out your pens so that the ink particles, the pigments, they do not clog the pen. Okay, let me draw a spoon here. This office that I'm drawing, this is the Kino Kunia office and um, I think bookstores are now closed due to the pandemic. Okay, you guys can keep your comments uh, coming in, even though I'm not able to respond to the comments straight away. Later on, after I've recorded this video, I would go back again to take a look at the comments and um, reply to those that I have missed out. Okay, so this shelf, uh, wow, this desk, it's really, um, it has a lot of things. And there's this little fan here. So in my office, 
there are also people who have uh, tiny little fans to sort of help circulate the air because sometimes the aircon uh, doesn't work that well. This is the keyboard. Yep, art stores have closed here in Singapore as well. Um, Streets Art, uh, one of the art stores here in Singapore, they have uh, just opened up their website for people to buy stuff online. So if you happen to be from Singapore and you're watching this video, know that Streets Art now uh, actually has an online store that sells their art supplies. So you can support them by buying um, supplies through their website. I do not know what's their website. You can do a check on Street Arts Facebook. You should be able to see their website over there. Okay, um, we have a computer, a desktop system here. So um, let's see, there are some sticky notes pasted onto the computer system and there are a lot of notes on the desktop, on the CPU. Wow, I, I read that someone is trying to draw like three 30,000 portraits. Is that even possible in a year? But if you can do that, um, that's pretty amazing because it's really going to help you. I mean, the more practice you get, the better your art will be. So let's draw this. Wow, there are a lot of books stacked onto the shelf. Okay. Have you guys been following along with the series? I see a lot of you posting your work on Instagram. Tiffany just passed me um, a square block and she just passed me another one. So sometimes uh, when she uh, is too, it's too bored to play, she would start passing me her toys and she is now standing up and she is... And now I have four building blocks on my table and the building blocks are they just keep coming so I have another building block there so for those who have just joined in on uh, this video this is basically to give you a look at what happens behind the scenes when it comes to recording the videos from this series the AZ sketchbook series Okay, let me just try and stack the blocks together so that um, they don't block my page too much. Okay, let's have a drawer here. Okay. Today Tiffany is actually quite well behaved um, in the sense that at least She's not grabbing my, my hand. Oh, yeah. Talking about portraits, the next letter is P, so maybe I will draw some portraits, maybe a self-portrait. Yeah, and for those who, have, um, who are joining this um, series, the AZ Sketchbook series, you can share your work online with this hashtag called AZ Sketchbook. And if you do a search online for all the work that has been posted under this hashtag, you will see a lot of work. So that's really uh, very inspiring to see all you guys uh, who have joined this challenge. That was Tiffany knocking the table. So you can post your work on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or even YouTube. Just add the hashtag to the video description below. 
and those people who are searching for the hashtag will be able to see your work. So far, at least from Instagram, I see there are more than 500 entries, uh, I mean 500 posts from people who have participated in this uh, art challenge. So if you are stuck at home and you don't have any ideas on what to draw, um, you can use letters from the alphabet to draw things. I actually have a plan for another series like the AZ, A to Z sketching tips. Uh, I planned that for a very long time. But um, that was actually not easy to execute. So drawing something like this, I mean, drawing random stuff is actually much easier. Okay, so Instagram stories. I don't actually use Instagram stories that much uh, because Believe it or not, I do not know what is Instagram stories. I know it's like video format, um, Instagram post, but I mean, if I want to make videos, I would just make it on YouTube. But I guess that's one way to reach out to people who follow me on Instagram. Uh, someone was asking about muffin sauce, muffin sauris. Uh, muffin sauris is her name is Stephanie, and she is a freelance artist here in Singapore. She does um, murals as well as commission illustration pieces. So she likes to draw animals. She has two pets. Yes, you can see her LOL on the chat right now. She has two pets, or is it three pets? I actually cannot remember, but I do remember the dog and the cat who are always fighting and disturbing each other. So I like to watch her videos because of the cute animals. Oh, she has two cats and one dog. Um, her dog, the name of her dog is Barney, if I remember correctly, but I cannot remember the name of her cats. Anyway, Barney, um, sh the dog, it's very cute. It's very cute. So, Muffin Sauce, Muffin Saurus, um, she has a lot of videos on her YouTube channel as well, and you guys may want to check that out. Just do a search on her name, her username, and you'll be able to see her YouTube channel. So, let me just try and speak spell out her YouTube channel, M-U-F-F-I-N-S-A-U-R-S. -F -F so it's like a dinosaur, but it's a muffin saw. Okay, so I am almost done with the elements in the foreground. Wow, this office has a lot of files and a lot of paperwork. You may see some colors are sipping. It's uh, Tiffany dropping her toys. You may see some colors are sipping through this edge uh, here because of the binding. But overall, this sketchbook uh, from Covell, the company in Italy, it's actually quite good. Mostly, okay, I think Tiffany is trying to um, disturb me right now. So the quality of this sketchbook is actually quite good mainly because it's using Fabriano artistical paper. And this is the window. So in the reference photo that I'm using, the window actually has curtains, but here I'm going to draw the windows without the curtains, or maybe I should just draw the curtains here. And the reason why I don't want to draw the curtains is because I want to draw the trees that are outside the window. So, okay. So 
window frames. So how are you guys um, doing during this um, during this time with the quarantine and home uh, homestay thing? So I've been working from home since two weeks ago. Um, it's a very different uh, experience. Um, it's, I mean, this experience of working from home, it's more different. It's not what I <laughs> expected. So um, before I worked from home, I actually was able to record a lot of YouTube videos every day because um, after I sent Tiffany to childcare in the morning at 9.30, I have 10 o'clock um, until from 10 to 2 to 3 p.m. So that's like four or five hours to record videos. But now because the childcare is closed, uh, Tiffany has to stay at home with us, um, me and my wife. So now I don't have that much time to record videos because I have to actually look after Tiffany or if I'm recording video and I mean the only time I can record video is when she is sleeping or taking a nap but if she's not taking a nap it's going to be very challenging to record any videos uh, such as the case now. Oh muffin sauce donated two dollars. I didn't know that you can actually donate money uh, or at least I did not know that they have enabled this money donation thing for Singapore YouTubers but thank you very very much okay so this is the reason why I want to draw the curtains up because I can draw the trees in the background and this this gives the sketch a bit more detail so for trees, sometimes I like to add a little uh, dots like this to add more texture. Yep. So trees, they, there are a lot of leaves. The leaves can become a big shape to become, I mean, they can go together to form a big shape or they can be individual leaves or if the leaves are very far away, they can be little dots like this, which is why I like to draw little dots like this. For those who have just joined in, I am recording this um, today's video live um, because I want to show you what's happening behind the scenes. So this is what's happening behind the scenes. She is under the table. <laughs> She's under the table right now and I'm actually quite uh, sort of grateful that she is not shaking the table much. I think she is trying to I think she is trying to lie put her head onto the horizontal beam there to rest. You know what? Let me switch off the power just in case. Oh. Yep. Just in case. Tiffany, cannot switch on the power. Cannot switch on the power. Okay, come out. Come out from under the table. Hey, Tiffany, come out from under the table. Hey, Tiffany, come out. Okay, let me, let me just continue with the sketch and just hope that she is not going to um, shake the table much. Oh, I didn't know that YouTube keeps 30% of the Super Chat. Anyway, uh, with YouTube earnings, uh, uh, I mean YouTube advertising, YouTube actually pays out 55% of the revenue they earn from advertising. So creators, they get 45%. So if they take 30% from Super Chat, it's actually not, um, not too bad. I mean, there is a cost to running such a huge website. Okay, so what's the time now here in Singapore? It's about um, it's 12 plus. 
Um, 12 plus is actually the time that Tiffany has to go to nap, but sometimes she would skip her nap because she just enjoys playing too much. And when that happens, for that particular day, I won't be able to um, record. Oops, do you see the table move? Yeah, so the table moved because she pushed the table quite hard. Oh, okay. Um, YouTube actually pays out about one to two dollars for every thousand views. So, for example, if you take a look at um, the videos that I have made for this series uh, for the past few days, uh, if there, are, if the video has about three thousand views, that means I'm making like three to four to five dollars. So they pay out. YouTube pays out about one US dollar one to three us dollar for every thousand views it really depends on the niche so sometimes um for example if your niche i mean if your youtube channel talks about cars and obviously car companies they have a lot of money to spend on advertising so the video ads that you run on the on your I mean the video ads that YouTube runs on your channel, they are going to uh, pay you a bit more. And also for tech channels like computer companies, um, computer companies they have a lot of budget, especially like um, Apple, Microsoft, uh, Asus, I mean all the big tech channels, they earn a lot from um, YouTube views, which is why they can actually buy gadgets and um, put them into the blender to blend uh, they don't some of the channels um, they don't need to rely on sponsorships from the company so for example if some company wants to uh, uh, put, put out a new phone the youtuber can actually just go and buy the phone make a video and earn back the money through adsense so that's how much um, that's how much youtube is paying or that's how much the big companies are paying in terms of ad but of course you can only earn back the money if you have enough views if you are starting out and you want to uh, start a tech channel and you go out and buy gadgets to review uh, you're going to go broke very fast because your channel is not big enough for you to earn the money okay so recovering so thanks for joining Thanks for joining and thanks to everyone who has uh, joined me in this live streaming session. So I'm almost done with this sketch, this office scene and I am quite surprised that I can uh, draw this relatively accurately today, especially with my kid around, with Tiffany around. She is entertaining herself with the building blocks. And she is going under the table again. <laughs> Tiffany, do you want to sing some? Do you want to sing B I N G O? Her favorite song right now is B-I-N-G-O, the bingo song. And she can actually dance to the tune. Okay, so this sketch is almost done. Let me just put more paper, paperwork here. Put more paper there. And maybe draw a few more boxes here on the left side. Because this is a very... Um, packed office so for today's uh, video the easy sketchbook i am drawing live let me draw some open shells put some letters on the boxes i hope you guys are safe at home um, this pandemic thing it looks like it's going to last for a very long time because this is 
very contagious. This is amazing. I mean, how contagious it is, is amazing. So the virus doesn't have, remember, uh, what I always say is the virus doesn't have legs, so it's spread by those who have legs. So if you stay home, you're going to be safe. And the problematic part is some people, they have, I mean, they are asymptomatic. They could have the virus, but they don't have, uh, but they don't know it. So they may go out and spread the virus unknowingly. That's the very troubling part. So quarantine, um, it actually works. Uh, it's very inconvenient to be quarantined, to have lockdowns, but quarantine actually works because That was Tiffany, by the way. Quarantine works because I have been in a quarantine uh, before when I was serving the national service here in Singapore. Um, once there was a soldier with sore eyes and one week later, all the soldiers on the same floor sharing the same toilet has sore eyes. So it spread very fast. So sore eyes is very contagious as well. So um, the thing is, only the soldiers from that block on that floor has sore eyes, but not uh, the soldiers on from other blocks or other floors. So, I mean, if you have read the news here in Singapore, the case the number of cases have uh, rose very quickly because no one. That's my wife. She wakes up and she asks whether Tiffany has poo poo. So, yeah. This live stream is very real. Okay, so maybe now it's time to color. Maybe I should, um, instead of using black and white, maybe I should use, maybe I should paint with color. Okay, never mind. I shall paint with color today. So let me go get my supplies. Okay. Uh, someone mentioned that if you don't know anyone who has COVID, it's then you will not, uh, then you probably wouldn't get COVID. Mm, well, it depends because um, if you, I mean, there are unlinked cases. So if you happen to be at a place where there is someone infected with COVID, then uh, if you touch anything, that the person has touched and that are still the risk of getting COVID. So the safest thing is actually not to go out, in which case there is no way you can touch any uh, infected service, uh, infected surfaces or you definitely won't be infected by people. Okay, so instead of, oops. Okay, uh, don't touch this, don't touch this. Cannot play, huh? Play with your toys, Tiffany. Huh? You want to play with your toys? Huh? Huh? Why? You want to sit? You want to sit? So this is the part where I have to carry her and paint at the same time. Maybe she'll get very bored later on and uh, she will go. She will want to go down. Do you want to go down? You want to sit? See, I sit here. Okay, so for this uh, painting session, you may see four pairs. I mean, you can see four pairs of hands. So um, I'm going to put my camera a bit higher up so that she doesn't kick. Uh, so that Tiffany's legs won't kick the camera. So let me try and stabilize the tripod slightly. Yep. So this is how life is like with a two-year-old. Um, how life is like. Um, I'm, I do enjoy this time with her, um, bonding with her. Since the childcare is closed, we are spending a lot of time together. So let me put the pen away so that she won't be able to grab the pen. Okay, so I have my brush on the side. And I have my water up there. Um, 
maybe she can use the white pen. The, the white pen is not going to affect me. Okay, so let's paint. Initially, I wanted to paint with the black and white art graph, but someone in the comment section mentioned that uh, this sketch is screaming for colors. So why not? Why not just uh, paint this with colors and see how it goes. You can go. Uh, it can go either way. It can be good or it can be bad. <laughs> but the thing is this. Um, have fun while we are sketching. Sometimes it's not about the result. Sometimes it's about the process. I mean, sometimes people draw as a creative outlet, which is great. Okay. I have been streaming for quite a long time. I'm not, I'm not sure how much battery life is left on my phone. So if the video gets cut off suddenly, um, that's because the phone has ran out of battery. Okay, so Tiffany is seated here and I can, I'm not sure if she is bored. If she is bored, um, it can be quite dangerous in the sense that she may start to grab my paint. But so far she is just curious at what I'm doing. So that's good. I'm going to keep it that way just to distract her. So this paint that I'm using, this is the Art Brave uh, Color Blocks. It works like watercolor. It's quite transparent. I have reviewed this on my blog, so these are quite convenient to use compared to my uh, multicolor sets. Okay. Looks like Tiffany is still um, quite interested in her toys. So let me paint. Oops, oops. Can I kick the tripod, eh, Tiffany? Can I kick the tripod, eh? By the way, if you guys are uh, posting comments, you can continue to post comments, but I'm not able to read them right now because um, my phone is somewhere uh, very high up. Okay, let me paint the trees here. Oops. She is, Tiffany, I mean, Tiffany is actually very well behaved today. As in, you can see, she's not trying to grab my brush, which is great. If she doesn't grab my brush, that means I can still work. But if she grabs my brush, then, um, well, I won't be able to do anything. Let's paint the boxes here. Tiffany, this is watercolor. Watercolor. Hmm? Do you know what is watercolor? Don't know. Okay. Let me switch a brush. This brush is not able to hold a lot of water. So let me just put this aside and try and switch a brush. Okay, let me go grab a brush. Okay, I'm going to grab a much larger brush. This one. Okay. Okay, let me sit a bit closer to the, to the, oh, um, to the sketchbook. And let me put my hand here on the left side so that she will not lock, I mean, she will not hit the tripod. Okay, hopefully this brush, I mean, this brush is definitely going to be better. 
Okay, so for those who are joining in, today I'm recording live because um, I, wanted to, I wanted to do something different. I want to show you what's uh, happening behind the scenes when it comes to recording a video from the series. And today Tiffany is awake. So she is seated right on my lap right now and you can see her hands uh, her hands and her toys okay let me paint some colors here i'm going to paint very fast because i'm i think she's starting to get a bit bored so oops did the camera shake Yep, the camera did shake. So when she gets bored, she will start to do like oh, things. Okay, so what have we here? Okay, I just need to paint um, the black. So for black, I am going to mix the three colors together. So let's, uh, I don't have any space to mix the paint, so I'm just going to mix it on the paper like that. Okay. So I don't have a mixing palette with me today um, because I didn't prepare that for this video. So I'm just going to paint it, mix the colors straight on paper. So with three primary colors, you don't have to think much. If you want a gray, you just mix the three colors together. Okay. Okay, okay. The camera shake. Uh, the tripod is about to tip over. Okay, I think this is still not too bad. Let's paint the computers. All the computers are off. I'm going to have the colors mix on the paper because it's um, easier for me. Because I don't have a palette today. Uh, for those who are joining in, who have just joined in this uh, live stream, uh, I'm not able to read your comments right now because Tiffany is just right in front of me. Careful, Tiffany. Computer. I'm almost done with this sketch. Okay, I'm almost done. The camera still recording. Yep, I think it's still recording. Hey, see your hand? See? Your hand is dirty. Hmm? Cannot touch, huh? Your hand is not dirty, yeah? <laughs> not fu not funny, yeah. Come clean your hand. Where's your web wipes? Go and take the web wipes. Okay, 
Okay, back to the sketch, uh, which is almost done. So, that's uh, how it's done. I'm going to follow it a bit around. Okay, I'm back. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, the mic, the mic got disconnected just now. So, yep, I am back online. I should probably put that mic in the uh, clip it somewhere so that it doesn't get disconnected. Okay, so this sketch, I think it's almost done. I just want to paint like the paint the black parts really dark. So I'm going to use this black carbon rather than mixing the black. Okay, so let me just paint here. Oh, this is nice. This is very convenient. And this dissolves quite um, quite well. So let's paint this computer here. And we have the computer here. The stand, this one. Okay, adding some blacks will um, provide more, will create more contrast. We have some black files here as well. There's a black phone here. Okay, I think this is done. Uh, is it still live? Yeah. Okay, so I guess today's uh, video is not uh, not really a disaster. That's great. Okay, so this sketch is done. Let me just show you um, a closer look. So. Let me just move the, let me show you where Tiffany is. She is still under the table. Tiffany uh, doesn't know how to speak yet. I mean, she can um, say some letters. Um, she knows some words. She cannot form sentences yet. And she is in the room with me today. Hello, Susan Sacco. So the sketch is, Okay, okay, so she is going under my tripod. Uh, Rivka Song said, I need to learn more to be more bold with colors. So with colors, um, just I think there's, a, there's, a, there's a common mistake that beginners uh, have with colors is they tend not to use bold colors. So my advice is to start with bold colors and then work your way down to um, using lighter colors rather than using lighter colors uh, straight away. Tiffany, Tiffany, you want to go out with mommy? Haven't, haven't, I'm recording right now. Uh, 
uh, my wife is there. Hey, Tiffany, you want to go out? <laughs> My wife just woke up. Okay. All right, so this is the sketch. Um, the YouTube stream video is actually, I mean, the quality for the YouTube stream video is actually not that good. Uh, the resolution seems to be just 720p if I am not wrong. So this is the completed sketch that's drawn under an hour, let me put the phone back on the tripod. So it's actually very difficult to color this. I think I may prefer the pen and ink sketch much better. I should have taken a photo. I should have taken a photo uh, without the colors just now, and then one with the color. So. Uh, sometimes it's good to take a photo before and after in case the colors mess things up. But anyway, um, in, at least for this sketching series, it's all about having fun about drawing. So today's yeah. date is yeah. 24th of April. Yeah. 24th of yeah. April 2020. 20 and here in Singapore we still have another five weeks to go with this partial lockdown uh, Wow I hope things get well soon and yeah so you guys can share your sketches with this hashtag AZ sketchbook on your social media pages and yep i think it's time to end this video i will post a sketch i will post a, a photo of this sketch on my instagram page all right so thank you guys for watching tiffany has just left the room um, i may do this live streaming session again uh, for some other letters yeah, it's actually quite fun and much less stressful because um, I mean for normal videos when I record and when she makes noise sometimes I have to cut out the section but for live videos I know you guys can sort of understand that if there is a kid in the room there is bound to be noise so I guess that's the less stressful part all right uh, thanks for watching I will look back at all the comments that you guys have posted and try to answer them if I have missed out um, of the comments, missed out any comments. All right, see you guys in the next video. See you guys tomorrow, bye. Now, where is the button to stop the live stream?